everyone. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. You know, technology moves along so fast, it's really hard to keep up with it. Uh, but I try to keep up with it as much as I can. It does get expensive sometimes, but this is actually uh, a money saver if you're looking to do something for the first time. Talk about OBD2 readers, code readers, if you're looking for a code, something to read a code on your car while your check engine light is on, and then erase the code and figure out what it is. Uh, I've been using something like this, this Actron. I've been using this for a long time. When I, when I bought this maybe, I don't know, seven, eight years ago, they were 80 bucks, but you can still buy them used for like 50 on eBay. This is a standard LC, uh, LCD screen. You work through a menu and you find your code and you erase the code. Fairly limited. Then last summer, I moved up to the C Reader 3001. This little little reader is a lot smaller, you can see. 25 bucks. You can still buy them on Amazon. Color screen, a lot nicer. A little more functionality because the technology has increased and uh, has advanced. And you can do a lot more with this one. But check this out. I just got this from King Bolin Media. OBD2 Reader. Only $15.99. 16 bucks. And the cool thing about this is, check it out. Bluetooth right to your phone. You download an app, you plug this in, and you can read all the diagnostics from your car, codes, mill status, and more. Check this out. This thing is so easy to use. You just find the OBD2 plug or socket in your car, plug it in, and it powers right up. Powers right up. Now I'll just start the engine. And wait for it to go through my startup protocols. And I downloaded the app. It's an OBD2 app. You just open it up like this and you just connect to the unit. And it reads from the Bluetooth, reads directly. Now it's connected. So now we can look at some general information about the car. It gives you all kinds of stuff about the vehicle, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can go and look at current data. So there is different, I'm not going to go through all this, but you can record information, there's widgets, all kinds of stuff you can use uh, if you want to look at uh, diagnostic data. Here's where you'd look for your codes. See this has no codes returned, no errors, which is actually pretty cool. cool. Um, logbook search settings, um, if I go back in here, uh, diagnostic, nothing there. Um, current data. If I go here, which is really cool, they got GPS, uh, I'm sorry, base, fuel, widgets, popular, but if I go in this uh, combi thing, I'm sorry, base, if I go in the base here, check out all the stuff you can do. You can monitor status, PTS, fuel system status here, tells me closed loop using the O2 sensor, uh, calculate my engine load. So right now it's calculating my engine load, and it'll be pretty straight because I'm in park, but let me step on the brake. I'll put it in reverse, hold the brake down, and I'll put step on the gas. You see how the load goes up on the engine? And as I rev the engine, you can see the load goes up, and it tells you how much load you're putting on your engine, which is really pretty cool. Um, coolant temp, there's my coolant temp, 118 degrees, and you can monitor that as you go along. Short-term fuel brink, a long-term fuel, the fuel bank, I'm sorry. Fuel, you can see, you'll get your fuel pressure. Here's your fuel pressure in kilopascals. Intake manifold, absolute pressure, your manifold air pressure, so you can make sure that that's right. It's, it's just really amazing, all the stuff here. Engine RPM. You look, and get your, look at your engine RPM. And of course, as you step on the gas, it goes up. And not only does it the engine RPM, you can look at the uh, timing advance. Since everything's electronic now, all of this stuff is available. Intake air temperature, mass, airflow. Uh, airflow rate, throttle position, the throttle position sensor that's on the on the throttle body is percentage of an opening. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. Oxygen sensor present tells you yes, the present the oxygen sensor is working. Uh, status, runtime since this engine was started. Tons and tons and tons of data. Of course, everything is is all uh, programmable and and customizable like any app would be. And the app is free, and I haven't had any problems with it since I downloaded it. So not only can you connect through your phone, you can also connect through your computer here. And it's pretty simple. You go through a quick connect menu, and you have the unit plugged in, and you have your ignition on. And it's going to connect. And it 
ask you if you want to set up a, a profile for this vehicle. Right now I'm not going to. But you can go through a summary. Here's your summary page. No engine codes. Readiness complete. Let you know what's going on. If you have any trouble codes, they would appear here. Any pending trouble codes. So all your information will be here. You can go into diagnostics and it tells you all your information on what's complete or incomplete. Evaporative system, it just tells you what's complete or disabled. And again, monitoring. You can go into the monitoring sensor and you go into different sensors. You go over here, you can select which sensor you want to use. And you can say, I want to see my engine coolant sense full again. And there you go, engine coolant. And look at the graph and it'll give you your graph. If I had the vehicle running, I could do that. So let me let me start that up. Let me start up. We'll go into the monitoring. Select our sensors, engine cool sensors. We'll add that and. Can look at different things here. We'll see the hit start. And then here's our coolant temp. So we can add different sensors. We can have a grid. So you can say here you want coolant temp and you want RPM. That and different things here. So, we're not going to get vehicle speed, but we can get our engine RPM, coolant temperature, anything we have to do here. Vehicle space speed sensor, we're not going to get that. Engine RPM, those are the only things we're really going to get. Intake air temperature in Celsius, so let's just start. Restart it again. And it gives you all these graphs, which is really pretty cool. You also got this extras part here which all these extra sensors, support sensors, you can monitor in real time. And all this stuff is available to you um, for free. And it really is pretty cool. All of that for a $16 USB, or I'm sorry, a Bluetooth OBD2 sensor. Really cool stuff. So there it is, Bluetooth OBD2 reader. After this, I don't even know what they can do next. Maybe they'll embed a reader in the car now where you don't even have to have this. Next thing is you hook it up to your phone. You can have a self-diagnostic car. I don't know. But this thing right now is, is really the coolest thing I've seen. If you're interested in getting one, I'll throw a link to the um, to buy one in the in the description of the video. So if you want to get one, really cool thing to have. Thanks for stopping by Pizza Raj.